now. I think Buchanan is getting on by nerve alone. Buchanan went down after the bell, claiming a low blow. Hello, my name is Chris, and welcome to Broken Nose Boxing. Today, I'm going to tell you a story. A story of the last king of Scotland. No, it's not that kind of documentary. Nope, not that kind either. This is a boxing documentary, and today, this is the story of when two great future Hall of Fame fighters battled it out on foreign soil for the World Lightweight Championship. It's the summer of 1972. Muhammad Ali had just beat Jerry Quarry at heavyweight and the movie The Godfather was due to be released in a couple of months. Spoiler alert, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Very long though. Our story takes place in front of a packed crowd of boxing fans in one of the most famous arenas in the entire world. Madison Square Garden in New York, New York City, USA. Madison Square Garden. Can't wait to see this fight tonight, lads. In one corner, the defending champion, proudly hailing from Edinburgh, Scotland. He had a record at the time of 43 wins and only one defeat. He is the two-time British lightweight champion and now the reigning and defending world lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Introducing Ken Buchanan. Across the ring stood an imposing figure, a 21 year old stoic man who would later on go on to have a legendary career and become a fan favourite in the 1970s and 80s. No, it's not Michael Jackson, but he was very popular at the time. <laughs> this man was said to have hands of stone, but not yet a world championship of his own. Hey, that rhymes. He hailed from Panama City, Panama, with a record at the time of 28 wins and no defeats. Damas y Caballeros, presentando a Roberto Hands of Stone, Duran. Buchanan had actually won the world championship he was about to defend two years previous against another Panamanian, the tough Ishmael Laguna. Buchanan fought hard and used his impressive technique in San Juan, Puerto Rico to take the championship on a split decision victory from Laguna. The following year, they rematched in Madison Square Garden with Buchanan winning again, but more clearly this time and gaining a unanimous decision victory. So going into the fight with Duran, Buchanan was familiar with fighting a world-class Panamanian in the garden. Here lads. My seat number's uh, 69. <laughs> 60. Are you sitting? But Buchanan couldn't have predicted how his fight with Duran would end. Round one, scheduled for 15. Buchanan was very quick and had excellent technique, but disaster struck almost immediately. Duran threw a big overhand right 10 seconds into round one that seemed to hit Buchanan on the back and made him lose balance and fall over. His gloves touching the canvas. Buchanan wasn't hurt and tried to make it look like it was a slip, which it, it kind of looked like it was a slip, but a punch had landed and his gloves touched the canvas. The referee called it a knockdown. No, no that, that was a slip. Come on, ref, ref, that was a slip. That was a slip. A terrible start for the champion. As the fight progressed, Buchanan would try to box at mid-range and work off of his jab, but Duran made it a messy fight. He wanted to drag Buchanan in close and held a lot, almost constantly throwing punches and occasionally illegally headbutting the champion. Both men would be virtually hugging and punching each other at the same time at times in the fight. Duran landed the more notable and higher volume of punches as the fight progressed and showed impressive footwork and punch power. But the toughness of Buchanan would mean he would not fold as so many of Duran's previous opponents had done. Round after round, both men traded punches on the inside. It was a grueling contest. The general consensus at ringside was that Duran was on course to become the new world champion on points. And then, at the end of 13 tough, arduous rounds, as Buchanan was on the ropes trading punches with Duran, the bell rang to sound the end of the round. The referee tried to grab the back of Duran to pull him away, but right as he did that, Duran threw a big uppercut, catching Buchanan right in the groin. Oh, 
that was low. He punched him in the buzz. Buchanan dropped to the canvas in agony, holding his, well, holding his very sore balls. The referee, Johnny Lobianco, seemingly missed the blatant low blow as people rushed into the ring. Buchanan was taken over to his corner by his team as it was the end of the round. They protested to the referee about the illegal punch to Ken's knuckles. At that moment, the ref had two options. One, warn or deduct a point from Duran for hitting after the bell and for using a blatant illegal low blow. Or two, consider it a knockdown and give Buchanan a very late 10 count. Instead, the ref did neither. After a minute of confusion and protest from Buchanan's corner, the fight has been stopped. The winner and the new champion of the world, 21-year-old Roberto Duran of Panama. What? The face of... The referee spectacularly called an end to the fight, citing Buchanan unable to continue, despite strong protests from Team Buchanan and mass confusion from the crowd. Roberto Duran was declared the winner via TKO victory and picked up his first of many world championships. It's a very controversial end to a good fight between elite fighters. Buchanan had to be taken to hospital as his balls were still very sore, having had them absolutely hammered by Duran's stone hand. Duran fans at the time said that Buchanan was faking injury to look for a way out, but that wasn't Buchanan's style. He was a tough man, and according to medical reports at the time, Buchanan had a serious injury to his crown jewels. Uh, looks like you've got a serious injury to your crown jewels here, sir. As the fight progressed, most felt that Duran would win on points, but the end to this fight was unfair to the champion. Many called for a rematch, but neither the New York State Athletic Commission nor the World Boxing Association, the good old WBA, sanctioned it. See? The WBA have been terrible for a while. It's not a recent thing. I don't know if that's good or bad. The rematch never happened. Duran would go on to dominate the division and others for many years and become a household name during boxing's four kings golden generation, of which he was one of the four. Duran would eventually retire in 2001 with an insane record of 103 wins, 70 KOs and 16 defeats fighting on long after his prime. Buchanan would also have success in his career, beating future world champions Jim Watt and Carlos Ortiz, as well as becoming the European champion, defending his title in several countries across Europe. But he had said in many interviews that he was never the same after the infamous loss to one of boxing's four kings. Buchanan retired in 1982 with a record of 61 wins, 27 KOs and 8 defeats. From a Scottish point of view, Ken Buchanan is held in the highest regard, the last king of Scotland. Buchanan inspired many Scottish fighters since his retirement, from the likes of Alex Arthur, Scott Harrison and Ricky Burns. But the new king of Scotland, Josh Taylor, was most inspired by the man. When Taylor became the world super lightweight champion in 2021, he visited the great Ken Buchanan at his home and showed him all of his shiny new belts. In Taylor's post-fight press conference, he said, Ken just gave me so much inspiration to do this. He's an absolute legend. See you soon, champ. What an inspiration you have been to me since I was 18 year old. I've done it, just like you. In 2002, Buchanan and Duran were finally reunited after that controversial night in Madison Square Garden. It was an emotional public event. The two men embraced and later, in private, Duran finally apologised to Buchanan for the low blow that ended the fight. It's the kind of closure that's a great way to end a documentary. But the final line of this story goes to the great Ken Buchanan himself. In an interview, he once said, Every time I think of Duran, my balls hurt. Oh, <laughs> be canon, eh? Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the little thumbs up button. And if you want to throw me a tip on Kofi app, it's very easy to do. There's a link in the video description. Anyways, I'm out.